Hello, hello. Good evening, my dear students. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mary. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Emilio. <laughs> Let's Thank see, Mary. You. How are you? I am tired from my work, but attended to class. Excellent. Very really good. It's good that you are attending to your class. Excellent. What about you, Emilio? How are you? How are you? Um, Fine. Como está? I am, I am a good, I am, thank you. All right, excellent, you're good. Yes. That's correct, excellent, Emilio, welcome to the class. Let's thank see, you. Carlos Guevara, how are you? Hi, hi, good night, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? No sé cómo decirlo. Descansando un poco. I'm Listo relaxed. para la clase. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. relaxed. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Or I'm resting. Listo para. Ajá. Listo para. Centenario de la independencia. Bueno, para dormir porque no hay desfile. <laughs> yes, thanks, <Dad. laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Qué bueno. Mañana dormimos todos. Excellent. <laughs> now, let me check Angela. How are you, Angela? Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. All right, excellent. It's good to have you in class, Angela. All right, my dear students, let's wait. No, let's not wait any longer. Let's hope all your classmates get into the class with the time. All right. So there you have it. Today is Tuesday, September 14, um, 2021. Look at you. You are in class for a 13, 14. You're in class 14 now. Excellent. That's great. I'm happy for you guys. You're just missing like, after this class, you are missing two more classes and that's it. And then you have your diploma and you are ready to go to the second course. All right, just give me one second. Let's move on. We're still in section five. And let's wait for it to finish today, section, section five. We have pretty good content and we're going to practice with it. So let's not longer wait, let's move on. So yesterday I told you that today we were going to study the timing, right? So we have this uh, for you, listen carefully my pronunciation, then you will practice. It's one o'clock. It's 1.05. It's five after one. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after one. It's 1.30. It's 1.30. It's 1.40. It's 1.40. It's 20 to two. It's 20 to two. It's 1.45, 1.45. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. Now listen, I'm gonna be honest with you in this part, we're going to have pretty much a lot of ways to learn how to say the timing. And you need to watch the clocks, right? Now listen, um, maybe you won't learn all of the parts of how to express timing today because that's pretty long. But with the time, the more you practice, 
you will acquire that knowledge, right? Today, we're going to practice only with the content that we have in the PPT. Why? Because I need you, I need to check your pronunciation and how are we doing with expressing time and also with the time expressions, right? So I'm going to start with uh, Maria Teresa. Please tell me the vocabulary that we have in here. Okay, teacher. It's one o'clock. It's one of, of five. It's five after one. It's one sixteen. It's six a quarter after one. It's one three. It's one forty. It's twenty two two. It's one four forty five. It's a quarter to two. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. Tell me the information, please, the vocabulary. It's one o'clock. It's one oh five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one TV. It's one forty. It's twenty two two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let me go with Angela Rosario, please. It's one o'clock. It's one thirty. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one. 40, it's 22, two. it's 145, it's a quarter to two. Excellent, very good. We're doing great with the pronunciation. Let's get William, please tell me the vocabulary. Hello, miss. Hello, good evening, welcome. Good evening, thank you. Uh, number one, it's one o'clock. Number two, it's one o five. It's five after one. Number three, it's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. Number four, it's one thirty. Number five, it's one forty. It's two so two. Number six, it's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Exactly. Thank you. Very good, William. Thank you, Miss. Let me go with Ruben Perez, please. Welcome, Ruben. Ruben. Hi, Miss. Hi. How are you? Ya se siente mejor. And I am so so. All right. Excellent. It's good to have you in class. Um, it's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's quarter to two. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Alejandro Contreras. Hi, Alejandro. Hi, Miss. How are you? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Ya está mejor? Un poco regular. Aquí una mitos y una gripe que no se quiere quitar. Pero... Mm, I got you. Don't worry. It's good to see you in class. <coughs> Voy, entonces. Yes. <coughs> uh, it's one o'clock. It's one of, of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirsty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. <clears throat> it's a quarter to two. 
Excellent. Thank you, Alejandro. If you can, Alejandro, please repeat after me. It's 1.30. It's 1.30. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. 30. All right. Let's go with Linda Alas. Tell me the vocabulary, please. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go with Janira Velasquez. Buenas noches, Miss. Hello, good evening. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty two two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Excellent. Thank you. All You're right. And, and now let's get Emilio. All right, Emilio, it's your turn. Okay. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. X twenty two two X one forty five is quarter two two. Excellent, Emilio. Very good. Okay. Thank you. We have Linda Alas. You are raising your hand. Do you have a question? Yes. Uh, it's no. What is the correct pronunciation? Twenty or twenty. 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, 20. That's the correct pronunciation. All right. The same thing. Uh, thank you, Linda, for your question. That's very good question. The same thing in this one, everyone. 20 to 2. And also, let me see, 30. Look at this. 30. Okay. 30. Now, as I told you at the beginning of the class, uh, we have different ways in which we can express the timing, right? For example, instead of saying it's one o'clock, I can say it's 1 p.m., right? Or it's 1 a.m., depending if it is in the morning or in the afternoon. Uh, for example, it's 1.05, it's five um, after one, or it's five, passing a one, right? Five past one, right? And then you have another ways to express timing. This is, this is for you to have like the basic knowledge, all right? With the time in another, actually in the following course, you're going to learn more about it. And it's pretty amazing because you are not only acquiring the knowledge, but also you are expressing it, right? You are using it. And that's why we need. Now, with this, let's move on a little bit and let's go with the time expressions, all right? Time expressions, believe me, when I say that are really useful, time expressions. We have in the morning, a.m. Remember the alphabet, a.m. We have noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. in the evening, p.m. at night, p.m. midnight, a.m. When we're talking about midnight, we refer uh, to this specific time from 12 and from 12 and go on and so on, right? It could be 12 a.m. or 
1 a.m. Basically, midnight, it's like the middle of the night, right? Midnight. All right, now let's practice this vocabulary. I'm going to start with Ruben Perez. Please tell me the vocabulary. Ruben. Mm, you're not in here. Let's see. Let's start with a uh, cutting. Good night, Miss. Is in the morning a.m. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice en el Noon. segundo? Pronunciation. Noon. Excuse me? Noon. Noon. PM. It's the afternoon. PM. It's the evening. PM. At night. PM. Midni. AM. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Don't forget that the last one Thank is you, Miss. midnight. Right. Excellent. Let's see, Ruben, you're raising your hand. Me levanté tantito por agua, pero ahorita. Okay, don't worry. No se preocupe. In the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Janina, please. In the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m. At it 9 p.m. Midnight, a.m. All right, repeat after me, please, Janita. Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now I'm going to have Emilio, please tell me the vocabulary. In the morning. Uh, now, PM in the in the afternoon PM in the evening PM at night PM midi midi PM. All right. Repeat after me, Emilio. Evening. Evening. Mm -hmm. Evening. Bien, evening. Midnight. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, that's correct. Thank you, Emilio. Thank you. Let me go with Monica. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello. In the morning, I am. Moon, PM. In the afternoon, PM. In the evening, evening p.m. at night p.m. midnight a.m. Excellent. Repeat after me, Monica. A.m. M. A.m. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. A.m. That's correct. Thank you, Monica. Let's go with Aníbal Galicia. Please tell me the vocabulary. Hi, good evening. Hello there, good evening. Uh, in the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. And the last one that I'm going to have for this practice is Alejandro Contreras, please. Okay. In the morning, a.m. noon p.m. in the afternoon p.m. in the evening evening p.m. <coughs> at night p.m. my night my night my my night a.m. <coughs> okay repeat after me alejandro midnight midnight mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, my dear students, with this, we are um, 
moving forward to the time expressions, right? Of course, as I told you, you will always find more vocabulary related to timing. Let's move on. Let's have this practice stuff. Now, what I want you is to practice your speaking. Take advantage of this part. Why? I know that when you are alone doing the platform, sometimes we are not able to practice our speaking. So that's why we need to practice it in here, right? So listen carefully and then you will practice. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m., okay? Instead of saying in the morning, I could easily say it's 7 a.m., okay? I will omit the morning because I already have the a.m. words or letters. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon, right? I have three options. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. I have two options. It's 12 o'clock at night, at night. That's the first option. It's 12 a.m. Second option. It's midnight, my third option, okay? Now let's practice with this. I'm going to have Linda Alas, please. Tell me the vocabulary. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's numb. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Excellent. Very good, Linda. That's correct. I'm going to have a William, please. Okay. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's, it's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, William. That's correct. Okay. Let's go with Maria Teresa, please. Okay, teacher. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sorry, it's seven o'clock in the evening, it's 7 p.m., it's 10 o'clock at night, it's, 12, it's 10 p.m., it's 12 o'clock at night, it's 12 a.m., it's midnight. Right, excellent, very good. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. It's seven o'clock in the morning, it's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock, it's 12 p.m. It's noon, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. 
It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve a.m. It's mid midnight. 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 Perdón. Excuse me. Don't worry. Don't worry. Go. Then you uh, practice. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go with Janina Velasquez, please. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. 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 It's, evening. it's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. At night, it's 10, 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. is mid mid midnight. Come on, Miss. Midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's correct, my friend. Thank you so much. Let's go with Karen Jimenez. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve. PM. It's now. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four PM. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven PM. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten PM. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve. I am, it's mini. Midnight, remember Karen, midnight. Midnight, midnight, thanks. Hey. You're welcome. Now, let's check this up, my dear students. If you notice, we have different ways to express one time, okay? So if you listen that somebody is telling you it's seven o'clock in the morning, but then that person says, it's 7 a.m., you know that he is saying the same thing in two different ways, okay? It's not saying another thing. It's just the same information, but in different ways. Now, uh, let me check. I have noticed that in here you say in the afternoon, and that's correct, but in here it's noon, okay? You cannot say it's noon. Mm -mm, that's not correct. It's noon. All right, do you have any questions about this topic? Questions means I have this question, means what does it mean this and that? No questions? No questions, teacher. All right, excellent, very good. I believe that this is pretty clear for you, all right? So we- Hello, gonna... Miss. Hi, William. Eh, este, lo que puedo observar es que, pues, tenemos lo que es en la mañana, al mediodía, en la tarde, tarde, noche, noche y medianoche, ¿verdad? Exactly. Lo que aquí conocemos en, eso, en esos tiempos, lo que estamos ahorita practicando. Mm -hmm. Basically, thank you, William. Básicamente, nosotros aquí decimos buenas noches desde las seis y media en adelante, ¿no? But in English, we are not able to say that. We're not allowed to say that. We say good evening. When you are going to sleep, you say good night. Okay? Cuando ya nos vamos a dormir, decimos good night. Meanwhile, pero antes de eso, o mientras tanto, antes de eso, you are not able to say good night. You should say good evening. Let's see, Karen. Miss, a question. Eh, cuando hablamos de las 12 a.m., de 12 a.m., 
at the 12 a.m. hasta 7 morning. Ajá. Recuerde que también de, de, from 7 vamos hasta casi las 11 y media también con el a.m. El meaning, mean, meaning, midnight, midnight per, excuse me, eh, se ocupa más que todo por decir, mencionando como madrugada. Exactly, medianoche, entre la okay. medianoche y la madrugada. Ok, thanks. You're welcome. Ajá, Mr. Guevara, what do you want to ask? Yo he escuchado en, más que todo en, en música, que se escucha... Bueno, no sé si será lo mismo, pero igual me voy a preguntar si existirá alguna diferencia entre midnight y middle of the night. Pues lo mismo. It's, it's basically the same. Lo que cambia son los contexts en los que usted lo va a utilizar. Pero sí es lo por mismo. Por ejemplo, ¿en qué momento se puede utilizar el middle of the night? Usualmente yo lo he solido escuchar en cosas como cuentos o como usted menciona en canciones o en programas de televisión, pero ya hablando realista, el inglés que nosotros deberíamos aprender a hablar es con midnight, ¿ok? Casi siempre in the middle of the night se utiliza para cuando quiere contar un cuento o una historia, pero sí es utilizable, o sea, si usted me quiere decir, Miss, I, I was watching TV in the middle of the night, sí lo puedo utilizar, no es tan aplicable, pero lo puedo utilizar. Más para fantasía que para realidad. Exactly, basically. Ajá. Casi siempre los cuentos dicen eso, like, in the middle of the night, it was this and that. Ah. Ah, otra cosa, antes que se me olvide, siempre he tenido esa duda. Eh, ¿qué, ¿En qué, no sé, si se hace vocablo, no sé, norteamericano, afroamericano, pero cuál es la traducción de una frase que he escuchado? en películas. Eh, catch a later, así lo menciona. Catch you later. Nos vemos Ajá. después. Es como decir, see you later. Ajá, basically, like saying, see you later. Pero el catch later es como nos ponemos al tanto, nos ponemos al ritmo. Como cuando usted le dice a alguien, y, sí, hombre, nos ponemos al tanto de todo. La próxima semana. ¿Eh? Así es. Ah, chapreamos después. ¿eh? <laughs> Basically, you're not using <laughs> gossip, que sería chambre, but it's the same. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Actually, uh, thank you, Carlos, for mentioning that. Uh, it's good that you are listening to TV programs in English, music in English, and it's also good that you pay attention to the pronunciation. Um, basically, most of the time in songs or TV shows or movies, you will find out that they say, um, I don't know how to say it, but they don't speak so well or correctly. For example, um, if you hear things like cool ya instead of cool you, okay, son como slangs. Eh, ellos suelen pronunciarlo de otra manera, right? It's like, instead of saying, en vez de decir cool you, ellos dicen cool ya. Or for example, sometimes you may have noticed, o sea, ya han notado, that when I'm ending the class, I'm telling you goodbye, see ya next class, or see ya, right? Those are slangs. So don't worry, it's the same meaning, it's just that pronunciation is very. All right, if you have no more questions about it or related to that, let's move on to intonation. Now, this is really important. I was watching your video from the platform and it's very specific when it says that intonation, it's not only important because you are learning how to pronounce, but also because you are able to understand better the content, right? So in yes or no questions, which are the ones that start with is, are, um, the intonation is racing, racing, right? I have this information for you. And let me see. And I'm going to have 
Anibal, please, can you please read this chart, the yellow chart? For just no question, it will be a rising intonation. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Monica, can you please read the light blue chart? For WH question, there, there is falling intonation. Excellent, thank you, right? So rising is when you go up, right? When you're going up. Falling, it's when you go down, right? Go down, the intonation. Now take a look to this uh, picture. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? I'm going, I'm raising my intonation. Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? Now let's go with double H. What's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? All right? Let's practice this like quickly, very quickly. I'm going to have a, I'm going to start with William, please. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes, no, and W8 questions. Mm -hmm. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Mm -hmm. I'm going down. Excellent. Thank you, William. Aníbal, please. Your turn to practice. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Excellent, thank you. Maria Teresa, your time to practice, please. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? She, she doing? Um, repeat, but what she doing? What are they doing? Excellent, thank you. I'm going to have Alejandro Contreras, please. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes, no, and WH question. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she going doing? What are they doing? All right. Repeat after me, Alejandro. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? I are they sleeping? Excellent. Very good. That's the intonation. Let's go with Monica, please. Is she getting up? Are they, are they sleep, uh, sleeping? What doing? What are they doing? Excellent. Very good, Monica. You were going down. Excellent. And I'm going to have Angela Rosario, please. Is she getting... Is she are getting they... up? Uh-huh. <laughs> Repeat Perfect. again. Um, is she getting up? Mm -hmm. Are they sleeping? What she do? Was she what doing? She's doing? Doing. What are they doing? Excellent, very good. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. You're the last one. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are it, what are they doing? Doing. Is the doing. doing. What are they doing? Good. <laughs> doing. All right, excellent, very good. 
Yes, and I want you everyone to focus. This is really important. You need to make the raising intonation and then the down intonation for double H. They are not the same kind of questions. They are not the same type of questions. So you need to make the difference, right? Now, hey, today we have a lot of practice with the spelling and with speaking. And I'm excited for that because speaking it's pretty hard for some people but I'm noticing that you are doing very well. Now we have this conversation. As Steve and mom, right? Listen carefully to my pronunciation. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Basic, simple as that. I'm going to have a cutting. You are a, uh, you are the mom, and William, you are Steve. Action. Hi, mom. You are mom, cutting. Where are you going, Steve? I'm cooking. Where are you cooking new? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you marking? Pizza. Mm, pizza. You get it hungry? Let's eat. Right, excellent. Thank you. Sudden, repeat after me. Now, 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 now I'm getting hungry. Now I am very hungry. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> you got your baby. <laughs> Mama. Shh. Uh, poor boy. Don't worry, Karen. Don't worry. I got you. Let's see, William. Uh, repeat after me. Hungry. Your microphone. Hungry. Hungry. Mm -hmm. Hungry. Hungry. All right, excellent. Now I'm going to have a, let me see. Linda Alas, you are the mother and Alejandro Contreras, you are still action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What, what are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent. Bravo, both of you. That was great. I'm going to have Maria Teresa and, and let's see, Maria Teresa, you are the mother, Emilio, you are a Steve. Action. Excuse me, teacher. You are a Steve. A Steve. Uh, hi, Mark. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Why I am right English. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I now I getting angry. Let's eat. Excellent. Thank you. All right, Emilio, repeat after me. I'm really I'm really hungry. Hungry. I'm hungry. really hungry. Thanks. Very good. Thank you, Emilio. All right. Now listen, everyone. El propósito de las conversaciones es que ustedes siempre vayan escuchando cuando sus compañeros pasan para ver la pronunciation. Para eso les doy primero yo el ejemplo. Tienen el ejemplo en la plataforma. 
y después van sus compañeros y ustedes tienen que ir prestando atención porque sus compañeros están pasando, no ustedes van a estar haciendo otra cosa, right? Tienen que estar prestando atención para ver si es correcta la pronunciación, si así lo pueden decir, se ayudan a ustedes mismos, right? And I'm going to have the last pair. Monica, you are mom and, and let me see. I'm going to have Aníbal Galicia, you are a step. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Where are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent. Very good. That was a very good intonation and the mood. Excellent, guys. Now, my dear students, let's move on. We have guiding a structure. You have seen already this structure on the conversation, right? Let's see, I'm going to need Carlos Guevara. Please tell me the structure. Giving a structure. Verb to be plus subject plus verb plus ing. I plus ing plus complement plus ese eh, sí no lo puedo pronunciar question question uh -huh. question mark question mark that's correct thanks all right and let's move on everyone this is the structure si no tienen la estructura pueden copiarla right this is a um, the guiding and structure for just no questions with um, present continuous or present progressive. Now let's move on. We have the guiding examples. And let me see. Hmm. Karim, can you please tell me example number one? You cover, cover. All right, you have a lot of kids. Uh, don't worry, Karen. Let me see. Angela Rosario, tell me number one, please. Are you calling Pablo? Excellent, thank you. Linda Alas, number two. Is Marta eating pizza? Excellent. Alejandro, number three. Are you, you and Fernando drinking soda? Um, thank you. And Emilio, number four. Are we wearing uniforms? Excellent, thank you. William, number five. It's, it, perdón, is David driving home? Excellent, very good, all right. There you have it, everyone. These are just examples. I believe that in yesterday's class, we had these examples also, right? Now, what I want with this is to work in this part. These are questions, right? Questions. <laughs> Let's be specific, questions, preguntas, right? I'm going to have the practice time. And let me see. Monica, please read the instructions. Instruction one, word individuality. Two, create one question, use the present continuous, yes or yes, no question. Excellent, thank you, right? Now I remember yesterday we were, we were uh, seeing sentences with progressive, but now we have questions. And focus mainly on this, about the structure. You have the verb to be at the beginning, right? You have the verb to be at the beginning. And your other verb, for example, call, that's my simple verb, um, that's my verb in simple present. But if I add ing, I'm going to have the progressive version, 
right? Now let's work on it, please. Finish, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's start. I'm going to start with Maria Teresa. Tell me your example, please. My example, my husband is working in the East. All right, excellent. No, um, and remember in question, is my husband- ah, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is my husband my husband working in the East? Mm -hmm. um, are, Um, el otro ejemplo entonces sería tengo otro are Mónica en I en tecnodiagnóstica working ajá uh -huh. are Mónica en I en tecnodiagnóstica working on tecnodiagnóstica working on tecnodiagnóstica uh -huh. excelente that's correct yes Mary excelente Now I have Carlos Guevara. I have a two example. Uh -huh. uh, are you reading the magazine? Uh -huh. Is Julio walking in the park? Excellent. Very good example. All right. Um, let's see, William, your examples. Is it raining, teacher? Is it raining, teacher? teacher. Uh -huh. Excellent, very really good. Solo una hecha ahorita. Ya me había acostumbrado a dos ejemplos. All right, excellent, William. Very good. Very Thank good. You. Let's see, Monica. Are you talking with me? Excellent, very challenging, very good. Yes. <laughs> Are you talking with me or are you talking to me también, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, let me check um, Aníbal Galicia. Is Ruben using his laptop? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. All right, Karen. Are you listening to the music? Exactly. Are you listening to music? Very good. And let me check. Now, Angela Rosario, your example. Are you doing exercise? How are you doing exercise? Very good. Emilio, your example. Are you okay, Jose? Are you what? Are you okay, Jose? ¿Cuál es el verbo que utilizó, disculpe? Eh, you. No, you no es un verbo, es un subject, pronoun. Uh, el R. El R es el verbo to be, are, el, are, el subject. Are you, uh, are you? El, el verbo que va después no, no le entiendo muy bien ese verbo un progresivo uh, va a ser are ajá ese sí are you are you are you are you Kelly calling Call, ajá calling ajá. José 
All right, very good. Yeah, that's almost like this one, but it's okay, Emilio. I know, I understand. Uh, All right. Uh, <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. Al menos estamos aprendiendo. Excuse, excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Don't worry. No se preocupen. Excuse me. No, 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 no se preocupen. All right. What I need you, everyone, is to work with verbs. You can look for more verbs. We have a lot of verbs in action. Let's check some of them. Present continuous double H questions. Now we have double H. We were uh, watching, or oh, we were seeing um, just no questions. Now let's watch double H questions. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. What's Marcus doing? Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcus doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. What are Sue and Tom doing? New York City, 7 a.m. They are having breakfast. Oh, this one, it says Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. What's Andre doing? His work. Now, listen carefully. Tomorrow in class, we are going to see more examples with the use of double H questions. But we're going to finish uh, today's class in here, right? So I hope not tomorrow. Tomorrow we don't have class. Mañana no tenemos class, right? It's 15 de September, so we don't have classes. Nos vemos el jueves, okay, on Thursday. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, good night. Bye, teacher. Happy Independence Day. Bye, see ya. Good night.